Charlie, how do you react to the news that our Met Police, even to Prince Harry, are not for hire? It's a great victory for common sense, uh, basically, uh, uh, Patrick. Uh, he was never going to win this case. This is the second judicial review that he has asked for, and this was on purely the fact he wanted to pay, basically, he wanted to hire Metropolitan Police gun guards if he ever comes back to the UK. And we have to remember that if he does come back to the UK, as he did for the King's uh, coronation, he was in fact protected, as all the people were protected. He didn't have a specific PPO, which is a personal protection officer, uh, but he has got police protection when he comes back to the UK. That He doesn't have to pay for it. It's there. Uh, that's when he's staying within the, the royal... Yeah, confines, yeah. if if you like. Um, but we have to remember that the first judicial review, which is about the comp composition of RAVIC, which is the Royal and VIP uh, Executive Committee, uh, he wants to know how they are made up and how uh, they make their decisions. Mm. And that's still got to go ahead. But well, unfortunately for Harry, the representatives on that committee include representatives of his brother, and his father, as well as the Home Office, and the police. So he's got a, no chance, yeah. really. But why should why should the British taxpayer, or uh, you know, have had to, have had to suffer so that a bloke, and he is now just a bloke, okay, yeah. who's fallen out with his family, largely of his own making, wants to get protection because he has, in many ways, incited some of the potential violence or press attention against himself. Anyway, I mean, it just seems absolutely bonkers. But it is nice that he is now officially a loser. It is nice that he is officially a loser, and he's he's got a lot more cases coming up against a variety of newspapers, including my my own former newspaper, The Sun, and uh, The Mail, and The Mirror. And, uh, yeah, he's basically, as I've said to you before, he's got a season ticket for court cases, this guy. Uh, so he, he just continues uh, to go ahead. But more importantly, the f this decision also means that you will not get sort of Z-list celebrities jumping on, if this had been granted, you would not get Z-list celebrities jumping on the bandwagon saying, oh, I need a gun cop because I'm going to open yeah. a supermarket down in Salisbury or whatever. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, so it's good good day for justice and a good day for Britain and good day for the police.